If you're still panning and zooming around your drawing manually or setting up your viewports by hand individually each time, then there's a better way. And in today's video, I'm going to share that with you all. Let's jump right in to save you some time right now. So we're going to be talking about named views within AutoCAD. You can access these tools and options on the view tab up in the ribbon here. This is going to be available whether you're using AutoCAD or Civil 3D as well as a few other options. Now a named view is basically a saved snapshot of the view you're looking at within your drawing. It's going to allow you to save different locations at different scales and extents and be able to jump between them by simply using this drop down here. You can even move this drop down so it's somewhere else within your drawing workspace to make it easier to access. I tend to just leave it in the view tab, but if you find you don't use it often enough, I highly recommend custom placing it somewhere else within your workspace. But to use named views, you're simply going to want to zoom to or locate your model space where you'd like to save a named view. In our case, let's zoom in on this conference room over here on this large office plan. Now you can already see where this is going. It's going to automatically zoom and pan to the location that you save. This is highly useful in large scale projects, especially civil projects where you may have vast differences of location between the different work areas or sites, whether they're called grid uh, named by grid options like grid A and 1 or different zones or phases of work, you're going to be able to set up different views based on the phase, even if you're not using these for a viewport or drawing setup, but simply to navigate the drawing. When someone calls out, let's look at grid C, you can simply hit the drop down, go to your grid C view, and it's going to pan and zoom directly to there. You don't have to memorize where all these locations are for every job. Now, creating them, you're going to simply click new view here. And this dialog uh, box is going to pop up. It's a new view or shot properties dialog box. You're going to call it something you're going to give each view a name, typically a descriptor uh, of the location. So we're going to call this one conference. Uh, and we can choose a category or create categories for this example, we're not going to, but that just lets you split them up in other ways within the list. Uh, the view type is going to be a still, and you're going to be able to choose current display, so whatever is displayed currently, or you can define a window to simply define what you don't like included in your view. So for this one, I'd like to include this doorway to the bottom and maybe one of the offices for context, but really we're interested in that conference room. So we're gonna click there and then hit enter and okay. So now we've got this view saved. So now you can see if I end up over here on a drawing, I can simply hit the drop down, click conference, and it goes right to it. Now the same can be said for say another one. So let's do another one down here. We're going to go call this south offices. And we're going to define another window. And in this case, I'm actually happy with the default one, I maybe may center it a little bit more on the offices itself. And you can see we have these grid tabs here for uh, definition of where we are in our plan or office plan. Hitting OK, you've now got another one here called South Offices. So I'm sure you can already tell a bunch of use cases for these, but my favorite part hasn't even come up yet, and we're going to check on that in just a second. But before we do that, if you haven't already, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. I've just released the complete CAD toolbox version of the course, and this includes not only my AutoCAD Fundamentals course, which is going to teach you everything from AutoCAD template setup, layers, XREFs, drawing, annotation, sheet setup, plotting, and more. I've also included my AutoCAD Kickstart course, which is perfect for complete beginners. It's going to show you how to create new drawings, line work from scratch, and it also includes a ton of templates, including my gold title block package, which includes a handful of different title blocks and layouts and templates pre-set up for you, like the one we're going to look at today in the next part of the video. All of this is included as well as a productivity webinar, cheat sheets, and workflows and more and you can get that at the link down below and up above. 
Now moving on to the next part of this tip, and that is going into your layout. So you can see we've got a title block and viewport already set up. And let's say this viewport over here, let's set it to a scale. Let's try 132nd. So yeah, that fits nicely. So this is going to show our entire office plan. But what if we'd like to show an additional viewport, say a blow up on the right here, that we would like to have maybe that conference room or that office is shown in a detail. Now this is a great way where named views come in handy. If you're doing large civil drawings, say, and you've got a handful of sections or profiles or even small details of say footings or retaining walls, and you'd like to make a named view for each one of those so that you can quickly and easily place each one in your layout as a detail. This is going to create the viewport as well as set it up to that specific view for you. So to do that, you can simply go up to the layout tab when you're in a layout, choose insert view, and you're going to have the list down here of your created views. It's even going to demo or show them in a preview tab here. Choosing one, so let's choose the south office, is going to automatically set it up so that it is fitted to a scale that works and is set up within your drawing. It's also going to automatically clip it and create that viewport for you. So now you've got a two scale view of just the view that you'd like. You can choose insert for another one here and it's going to create a viewport that makes sense for that scale and size of that object. So you can see these are both scaled. This one's 1 8 inch equals one foot and this one here is 1 16 inch equals one foot while our main overall is 1 32nd. So you can see how much faster that is. Now all I need to do is add some labels, maybe a title for each view, including the scale that that view is at. That's important. And if you don't already know, you can use custom fields to automatically populate those scales from that viewport. I've got another video that I'll link below or you can check on the channel. I recently did that. It's about fields and automating text. Now, before I let you go, I wanted to share another little quick tip when it comes to views within AutoCAD and moving around your drawing. So if you go back to that view tab here, you actually also have these model viewport options. And I'm just going to show you a couple quick options. If you didn't already know, you can automatically resize your model space into multiple views. Now, this can be super handy for large and difficult projects, uh, especially if, like I said before, you've got a huge site and you've got different different areas or when it comes to civil I'll typically have at least two one on the left for my plan view like this one here and then the one on the right will be the profile or section view of whatever say grading or road or uh, site design that I'm working at this allows me to see both at the same time and how they interact with each other if say we raise some of the land over here I'll be able to see that on the profile or section to the right at the same time as it's automatically generated within civil 3d now for plain 2D AutoCAD. This can come in handy if you're working on multiple different locations at the same time, or if you just like to see that overall picture as you're drawing things more zoomed in. You're going to be able to see them in all three viewports, and the changes are going to be updated automatically regardless of which one you're doing it in. These are just different views of the same model space. This can also be helpful if you're doing 3D objects, since you can use the view cube over here to show a isometric or tilted version of the drawing. This allows you to see that 3D view as well as the multiple 2D views as you're working on a design. Now, this restore button is what I want to share here. This is super useful because you can flip between the last view setup you had in model space and the, the basic single view. So this is something I'll use all the time. If I want to see the whole picture or if I don't need the more detail, I'll just tap that button. If I want to go back to the view setup I had, you tap restore again. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys learned a little bit about views and let me know in the comments if you're going to start using named views within your drawings. I think they're super useful and can be a huge time saver. Again, if you haven't already, check out my AutoCAD workflows and fundamentals course. You can get that complete CAD toolbox package right now for a discount using that link down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because not only are we near 100,000 subscribers, but you'll also get notified when I post new posts as well as new videos every week on the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and cheers.